Welcome back, YouTubers and man fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing at the man. She's always got a little something different for you guys today. That's right. I'm recording my oh. face, which you typically do not see in videos. If you look behind me, you can see that I put a lot of time and attention into this room as well because I do plan on doing a lot of live streaming and a lot of live gameplays this upcoming Man 22 season. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to show support with the like button and the uh, hit the, you know, let me know in the comment section, stuff like that. But today, I'm going to be going over another Man 22 preview. I have all the X factors for all the defensive players in the upcoming game that's whether it's defensive linemen linebackers cornerback safeties i'm going to go over all that today what the abilities are and what their abilities do so if you want to see more videos like this as well always make sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comment section so let's go and let's get right into the video so starting off with defensive linemen the first ability we have is blitz aaron donald is the only guy that has this in the game right now uh, we'll see if more guys have it when mutt comes out and stuff like that but for now only aaron donald has this ability and what it is it really doesn't have anything to do with aaron donald as a whole that's one of the reasons i'm not necessarily sure if i like this 100 because ultimately what this does is when he gets into the zone and you know his entire defensive front gets in the zone at the same time essentially the opposing blockers have their resistant bars wiped out so Aaron Donald himself is one of the most dominant players in the game every year doesn't have to do anything to get to trigger this all you really have to do is his defensive front has to get two sacks so Aaron Donald doesn't really have to do anything just having him on the defense and having him on the line can essentially make the entire offensive line on the opposing team uh, just null and void if he gets into the zone they will all get into the zone which I think is going to be very helpful if he continues to have this same ability in Mutt. Now, as far as the knockout goes, all it really says is one down played. So I guess that means that that only happens for one down, but that's going to be a bad down because ultimately your blocking is going to just fall apart. So if that's the case, that's definitely an interesting one. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess every two sacks you get, you're probably guaranteed a third or at the very least a very uh, heavy pass rush on the very next play. Next up, we have Fearmonger, which is something that's been in the game for a while. Uh, Fearmonger, it hasn't changed. Ultimately, when any of these three players, I'm going to tell you in a second, enter the zone, uh, they, they apply pressure on quarterbacks even while engaged with blockers, which is a really cool ability. They still have to be within a certain depth away from the quarterback, uh, which is typical, but ultimately, it's still a really cool ability. So Fletcher Cox, Chandler Jones, and Von Miller all have this. It's triggered the same way once again. Two defensive line sacks, uh, which is not too hard to get. Uh, I would say it probably would take you a quarter or two, depending on... I mean, most people get pressure from their linebackers or from their, you know, secondary and stuff like that when it comes to blitzes online. So ultimately, it probably take you a little while to get it from actual uh, defensive linemen. And ultimately, two of the guys we're looking at here aren't even defensive linemen. They're Chandler Jones and Von Miller, who are outside linebackers. So I don't know if you have to put them on the defensive line or if they count edge rushers and three fours as defensive linemen. I'm not really sure. But ultimately, you just need two sacks. And to ba basically, to knock them out of that position, you just have to get 20 offensive yards, which isn't really that hard to do uh, but ultimately fearmonger is still one of the better ones as far as creating you know incomplete passes and you know pass accuracy issues next up we have momentum shift now this here uh, essentially only one player in regs has it chris jones uh, momentum shift basically will knock any offensive player out of the zone or make the offensive players lose progress towards entering the zone uh, same trigger all you have to do is get two defensive line sacks uh, and it only lasts for a down because ultimately once it's wiped it's you know that's it it did its job so that's a pretty interesting one only like i said only one player has it so this is not something that uh i don't know me personally i don't think this is a game changer but it's something that uh, definitely is helpful uh but ultimately probably one of the weaker ones on this list next up we have relentless this is probably one of the best ones if you like the user defensive lineman if you get a sack or a tackle for loss with either of these two players uh jj watt or nick bosa from the niners you will essentially um, you know, you, you'll end, once you enter the zone, all your rush move attempts are free, and you have that until you allow 20 offensive yards. So ultimately, if your defense is playing good enough and you're getting to the quarterback quick enough, because you're the type of player that likes to play with a defensive lineman, you could consistently keep this going for a very long time if you're disruptive enough and if you're good enough at playing as a defensive lineman. Next up, we have unstoppable force. This is probably one of the better ones, and that's why it's one of the easiest ones to get knocked out of. Seven players have this, and essentially triggering it's not too difficult it's pretty much the same as a lot of these you have to get two defensive line sacks to
to trigger this ability. And what it does, you're just gonna be getting instant sheds. You're gonna be getting a much higher win rate. You're gonna be getting uh, much quicker block sheds and one-on-one -on -one blocks. So basically, uh, these seven players are going to turn into animals uh, until you knock them out of it. Now, the seven players are gonna be DeForest Buckner from the Colts, Daniel Hunter from the Vikings, Cameron Jordan from the Saints, uh, Joey Bosa from the Chargers, Khalil Mack from the Bears, TJ Watt from the Steelers, and Miles Garrett from the Browns. Now, one of the downsides of this is you only you get knocked out just giving up 10 offensive yards. So if you're somebody gets into this and they're you know they're, they're wrecking your offense, all you have to really do is hit them with a drag or something, a nice catch and run uh, or a nice run, and you're gonna knock them out of it pretty quickly. So while it is one of the more effective ones, it's also one of the easiest ones to break up. Next up, we have uh, linebackers, cornerbacks, and safeties because a lot of them have the same uh, the, the same X factors. So first one up, we have Avalanche. Avalanche is a very popular one in Mutt. Uh, it should be more popular in uh, you know Reg but only one team has it. Both players play for the same team. That's Bobby Wagner and Jamal Adams. So essentially, this should be one of the most popular teams to use online. Between their home field advantage, which is going to be uh, very unique and very popular, uh, they're great passing game. They have a ton of receivers, and now they also have the only two players in the entire game that have this ability. Uh, but ultimately, to trigger this, you just have to get three hit sticks. Uh, just three successful hit sticks. Three tackles with hit stick and they will put both of them into the zone and what you get for that is essentially any successful hit stick made while running towards the line of scrimmage will result in a fumble so if you're a big hit stick player this is going to be perfect for you uh, and it's not easy to get knocked out of it either you have to give up 30 offensive yards which is something that you know if you're getting a lot of hit stick fumbles it might never happen but essentially that's a lot of yards to have to give up to get knocked out of it next up we have bottleneck now this here to trigger this you only have to force two incomplete Completions. Now, I don't know if that's two incompletions from the defender that has bottleneck or it's just two incompletions as a whole. Doesn't really specify that. But ultimately, once you get into this zone, uh, you're essentially going to be pressing, uh, you know, your, your press man is going to be insane. And it's going to basically shut down whatever receiver that that player is playing against. The only player that has it is Jalen Ramsey, a 99 overall cornerback. Uh, so essentially, if he gets in the zone, you can just forget the receiver that he's playing against. Now, to get knocked out of it, once again, you have to give up 30 offensive yards but you won't be getting it from the receiver that Jalen Ramsey is covering. Next up we have reinforcement. This is another one that looks a little bit overpowered because the knockout is only 10 offensive yards allowed. Whenever I see that it makes me think that that's just how OP this is going to be. So whenever these players enter the zone they will essentially do better against the run and the pass. They will defeat run blocks easily and they will disrupt catches via tackles. Um, that's really all there is to it. To get into the zone all you have to do is get two tackles for loss or two incompletions. So this sounds like something that probably will be uh, relevant throughout the game. The two players that have it are kind of weird. Uh, Tyron Matthew, I understand. Uh, but Derwin James, who's a great player, he has he even played in like the last two years. I, I just remember playing in his rookie year, and then he's been injured ever since. I know he's popular in the Madden community for a lot of reasons. He's very close to EA. But part of the fact makes me wonder, what's he going to look like after all these injuries and not having really played in so long? I know he's a great player when he's healthy, but that's something where it surprises me that he's going to have uh, an X Factor still at this point, uh, but I'm not complaining because he's one of my personal favorite players. I love having him on my mud team for sure. Uh, but ultimately, you know, this is something that I think is going to be one of the more overpowered X Factors. Next up, we got Run Stuffer. This is a guy. We only have one guy that has it. Levante David is the only guy with Run Stuffer this year. Uh, essentially, two tackles for loss is how you trigger it. Doesn't have to be from this player necessarily. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it doesn't really specify that. But ultimately, once you get into the zone, you're just going to be defeating run blocks left and right, one on one run block so if you're double teamed it probably won't work but ultimately this is somebody who's just going to be blowing up runs once he gets into the zone to get knocked out of it you have to allow 30 offensive yards so that's something that he should be able to stay in for some time and then we have shutdown which is something that you know has been uh, a very popular one for a while only three players have it this year Jair Alexander Tredavious White and Stephen Gilmore if they get into the zone their interceptions will happen more often and they will have much tighter coverage uh, again, you know, they're just going to play better. I mean, anytime a cornerback gets into shutdown, I mean, just the term shutdown when you hear cornerback means they're just going to blanket whoever they're facing. So essentially to do this, you have to force two incompletions and then to get knocked out of it, you have to give up 30 yards, which once again is a lot, especially when you have a shutdown cornerback running around. Uh, and the three cornerbacks that have it, I can't say that I, uh, I definitely agree with that. Three of the best cornerbacks in the game. And then last but not least, we have Zone Hawk. So essentially, you know, these are, a lot of these have been in the game for a while now. Uh, zone Hawk defender 
defenders lock down a part of the field. When they enter the zone, this ability increases the rate of interceptions while in zone coverages. So to get into this, two forcing completions once again to get knocked out of it, 30 yards allowed, and essentially these guys will just play that much better in zone coverage. My personal favorite would probably be Devin McCourty, based on the fact that my safeties are typically in zone coverage a lot more than my cornerbacks are necessarily, uh, which, you know, makes sense. I mean, a lot of people run man coverage, uh, and typically even in man coverage, safeties aren't typically in man coverage, but ultimately you have to be in a zone coverage for this to work out. So, Xavier Howard, Devin McCourty, and Fred Warner are the only guys that have it. So, that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.